Hello, good morning. Welcome to another time of KC Video Devotional for the 18th of November. And the topic is how isolation in marriage can lead to desolation. Over the years, from counseling experiences and even from the scriptures, one guaranteed reason a marriage will crash is when there is no form of mentoring or tutelage. The kingdom of God is so orchestrated in such a way that you are not supposed to stay in isolation. Here is God's word. God setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, for the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Psalm 68 verse 6. God in his wisdom has surrounded us with not only physical families but also spiritual families. You have to be able to identify your spiritual family and stay there. There is a man or woman that God has placed over you from whom you can access wisdom and who will be able to speak into your life in the times of storms. The recent deliverance of Bishop David Oedipo from a plane crash, that's a few years back now. The preceding visit of a spiritual covering, uh, that is Daddy Jill, to pray for him is a classic example that lives are preserved when they are under a covering. There are times that you face some issues, and yet the solution to that storm is just a sentence or two away in the mouth of an anointed servant of God. This is why I'm often scared of couples that have no body they are accountable to. I'm often scared of couples that have no mentors over them. Somebody has rightly said that you need mentors to avoid some mentors. Of life. Now I will tell you why it's so important that you stay accountable in marriage. There are some times that couples call in for counseling and upon listening to them, there will only be one way to move forward. So I will ask the question, who is your husband's mentor? It's always sad when the answer is nobody, sir. So I will usually reframe the question, who does your husband respect? Who can talk to him? And then a sadder answer comes, nobody, sir. Then I will make one more attempt. What about his parents? Well, he does not listen to his parents. Nobody can talk to him. At this point, the situation actually looks bleak because you can hardly help an isolated person. A disenfranchised soul is a vulnerable soul. One of the pertinent things to be sure of in marriage is the issue of accountability. Let me conclude with this scripture. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Proverbs 15, 22. Purposes can be genuine, but when they are without counsel, they can be frustrated and disappointed. See the message translation. Refuse good advice and watch your plans fail. Take good counsel and watch them succeed. Meditation for the day, Proverbs 20, 18, form your purpose by asking for counsel, then carry it out using all the help you can get. Prayer for the day, number one, Father, divinely connect me to mentors that will help in my marriage in the name of Jesus. Prayer number two, I receive fresh wine in my marriage in the name of Jesus. And prayer number three, Lord, take away every pride from my life in the name of Jesus. Confession for the day. Say this after me. I will not live in isolation. I am surrounded by helpers in my marriage, mentors, fathers, and mothers that I can learn principles for a successful marriage from. I receive the needed wisdom for my marriage. I receive newness and freshness in my marriage. My marriage is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Action plan for the day. Discuss the issues of having a mentor with your spouse if you have none. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases and Us Club. Uh, To do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single married, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. 
in order to access the books kindly navigate to the url you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at kcsandus.com. You'll have a lot of resources for your soul.